Outside 90 degree corners, with Versalock standard units, you can easily do an outside 90 degree corner by simply splitting the block in half. What's going to happen is you're going to get two corners out of one block. And a good tip for you is we want to make sure that we turn the block upside down right from the get-go. There are core marks on here, bumps and grooves from either split lines or the pin lines. And we're going to make sure that we're hiding these by flipping them upside down. So now that we've got them flipped upside down, we're going to try and dovetail the corner by offsetting the block. And what this is going to do, as you build out from your corner, is it's going to automatically give you your four inches of overhang that you need from each block. So you can still pin in to these blocks. The corner block, however, you're going to need to glue into that corner piece. Or if a specification makes you pin, you can hammer drill into the pinhole and set a pin into the block below. Outside 90 degree corners can be built with Versalock easily. Start outside 90 degree corners by splitting a standard unit in half and alternating half units at the corners, fanning out with full units to fill in the middle. Do not miter corners. This creates weak points which potentially walls can move and separate independently of each other over time. Turn half units upside down at the corners to conceal splitting grooves. You adhere these half units to the wall using Versalock concrete adhesive, as they will not pin unless you hammer drill into the block below to create a space for the pin to seat. The corner detail creates about 4 inches of overlap of the units below. As each additional course is set back 3 quarters of an inch, this overlap will vary. The unique Versalock hold a slot pinning system allows for vertical joints to wander. Units do not need to overlap exactly halfway over units below. However, units should overlap units below by at least 4 inches.